We got a big day on the farm, people. All of our male piglets need to move out of mama's pen and in with daddy Bobby. Well, here in Horseshoe Valley, Ontario, Canada, it's 11 degrees Celsius today. So I might as well capitalize and try to do a little bit more cement work around Bobby's door to the outside. <laughs> Hopefully you can find it in the lead. Oh yeah. You found it. I was gonna try using a mortar mix and then maybe like a grout bag, you know, like a mortar bag and squeeze it into the cracks. The problem is it has no aggregate in it and I'm thinking maybe it's gonna end up cracking, you know? If I use like regular cement like this stuff, there's lots of little stones in there. So I decided I'm just gonna put this cement and just keep trying my best. Who wants to eat? Is that you pounding on the door? Bobby? Bobby? Come on, guys. Here, Billy. Let me get you some water, okay? Hold on. Are you two going to go outside so I can do some cement? Hey, Bobby, you done your lunch? Hmm. Thirsty, eh? How about you, Rabbit? You going outside? Okay, going to have to stay out there. than it looks, you know, to do this. I give those those guys who work with bricks and masonry, masonry and whatnot, they're good. I'm not very good. I told Bobby's not gonna wreck my cement. I gotta get the boy pigs out of here too. I'm gonna see if I can do that today. Look at him, horny little guy. That's his mama. What are you doing with my wheelbarrow? Hey, stop eating the tape. Stop eating the tape. Stinker. That's not too shabby. I got a little bit further ahead there. I just got some small holes. I'm going to wait for this to get hardened up a little bit. 
I gotta patch all that. I mean, I don't have to patch the whole thing before winter. I just need to make it draft free. If you really look at this whole wall, like the whole thing needs parging. Look at it, it looks horrible. But my main concern is to get all the holes filled so that there's not gonna be some kind of a draft coming in in the winter, you know? There you go, pigs. There you go. Let's close this door. Billy, you stay here for a while, okay? Billy, you stay here for a while, okay? Don't want mama to get pregnant by one of the sons. Whew. But first, lucky me, I have the chore of separating these boy pigs. I need to put the boy pigs in with the dad. What are we gonna do here? Guys? This is not gonna work. I actually have an idea. Because they're mostly boys, what if I just herd them all out here? I'll close that door there, and then I can herd them all in here since I got the pig outside. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. And then I can grab the girl after and put her back in. Yes. Rabbit, you wanna go outside first? Hey, I'm gonna bring some pigs in here. Hey, you stay there. You stay there, okay, big guy? You stay there, okay? You guys stay there. four left out here and it's hard to tell I can't see their hind area yeah they're all boys I'm done. We only have one girl left <laughs> and five boys. Wow. I guess that's about right because from the eight piglets from the beginning, I said we had two girls and six boys, right? I can't remember now what I said, but in any case, we sold the one black girl and the one black boy. This is the one and only girl. So now, introduce Bobby to the five boys. You're okay, I'm gonna let you in to see Mama Billy. Here, Billy, come on, come on.
the dad, Bobby, he has met these pigs through the fence, but uh, he's never been able to really touch them. I certainly hope there's not going to be any issues. You know, like I have no experience with this stuff. Man, five more boys. Jeez. I was thinking maybe there's going to be at least, you know, like a 50-50, you know, like with chickens. Eight piglets, but six are boys. <laughs> are you guys ready to meet your dad? Uh, are you ready to meet your dad? Bobby! Come here and meet your sons. Come here and meet your sons. No fighting though, okay? No fighting. You guys be good. You guys be good. Go outside. Whoa, that's not good. You okay, rabbit? You okay, Bobby? Those are your sons, buddy. Here. Those are your sons. You're okay. Here, rabbit. Here. Come here, buddy. Come on, rabbit. You gotta go outside. Come on. It's for your own good. You don't want to be trapped in there with all those pigs, okay? Okay, rabbit? You stay here. Okay? Here. Rabbit, here. Here you go, buddy, okay? Now, I know some people are probably going to ask or say that I should have just gotten all of the male piglets castrated and I wouldn't have this issue. But honestly, I'm just so very new at pig raising. I did watch videos on how to castrate them, but I was a little bit intimidated to do it myself. And I couldn't find anybody to come and do it for me. You know, like even a veterinarian, they're just hard to find. And then there's also the fact that I'm trying to sell these piglets as pets. So there's a lot of people who want male piglets as pets that want them intact. They don't necessarily want them castrated. So unfortunately, I don't know this ahead of time, how many, because I could have just castrated some and kept some intact, but I don't know that. So I just ended up not castrating any of them. Bobby, you're eating your kid's food, eh? See, they're fighting too. Look at them. Boys will be boys. Still have a lot of this straw left over from last year. So the, the bale wire broke on them, the twine. So now I got all these bales sitting here that you can't pick them up as bales. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm just using this stuff as bedding.
No way, you're gonna tear the whole thing down. There, looking good. Billy's even covered a little bit. <laughs> Okay, pigs. You okay, piglets? Dad giving you a hard time? You guys okay? How about you boys? Are you okay? No fighting, okay? You can't get through there. Watch out for daddy. Bobby, you be good. Be good to your sons, okay? I'm guessing it'll just take a day or two before they become accustomed to each other. But the pigs are squealing because Bobby's kind of chasing them, you know. But I haven't seen him biting them or anything like that. He's just wanting to sniff them and then the piglets keep running away. <laughs> Poor dad, he just wants to hug his kids. Let's get some grass for the rabbit, okay, Olive? Let's get some grass. Move. Let's get some grass for the rabbit. Pretty soon this grass will be gone, right? Yeah, that's good. Oh, good, you found your food. Here, rabbit. Here, rabbit. Billy! You okay, Billy? Olive, you coming in? Oh, Molly, you coming in? Come. Okay. Billy, we're gonna go to bed now. Ah. Uh. Where are you going? Time to go to bed. You gotta go in. I don't wanna chase you, just go inside. Okay, now stay in there. Billy, are you going in? Okay, go in. Go in. Come on. Good girl, that's it. Now you're both in, mother and daughter. These stinkers. <laughs> I gotta get them in too. Hope they don't squeal too much when I finally get them in and close the door. They got nowhere to run. Bobby, I'm coming in. Come on, let's go to bed. All the pigs are in. Let's go. Go to bed. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I got you, piglets. There you go. Looks like this is hardening up nicely. Got it? Good girl. You guys want more food? Here. There you go. 
just you two tonight, Billy. It's just you and your one daughter. Hopefully you guys have lots of space. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. Hi, Piggy. Billy, you want some apples? You and the daughter? How many do you need? Is that enough? That's enough, right? How about you pigs? Here, some more food. Okay, fill up your belly. That'll make you feel good, okay? You guys gonna be okay? You look awfully scared. Bobby, you okay? I gave the rabbit a little pile of straw. Rabbit's got water, rabbit's got food, and the rabbit's got some grass to eat, so he should be okay. He's hiding under there for now. I think the piglets are kind of freaked out right now. Of course, I just took them away from their comfortable home and their mom. Now they're living, now they're living with their dad. They don't know the dad too much, they just know him through the fence. So you can see they're all huddled under this little thing right here. I mean, Bobby can go in there too, but they've been squealing a little bit, I noticed, and they're running away, but Bobby's not doing anything. He's literally just there, sniffing them. But probably it'll take a while for them to just get accustomed to each other. See, look at them, they're so freaked out. Anyways, I don't know what to do. This is the way it's gotta be until I can sell these pigs. I'm gonna update my Kijiji listing with some more photos and that way maybe I can drive some more views to the the ad to get some buyers you guys want some apples too here I know you guys like apples if you're new to the channel or if you missed it I got a really cool video of the day that these piglets were born check it out I'll put it up on the screen and thanks for watching